And of course, it's the election season in Karnataka, but uh, the ordinary citizen's life seems to be hit with various issues. One of them being, if you are living in Bengaluru, particularly paying rent, it's definitely burning a hole in your pocket and the rent only seems to be rising. Most people working in the Silicon Valley of India resorted to remote working culture during the pandemic, which led to them departing the city. And this phenomenon also led to rents falling down drastically. But now, Bengaluru city is stirring back to life, with private sectors thriving, boosting economy further, and the landlords find this to be a perfect opportunity to regain lost revenue and find themselves proving dominance in a seller's market. Bengaluru, according to market observers, stands on top among Indian cities for rent yield with 3.9%. 30-year-old so Ankita Suhas Pornekar is one such person who went to her hometown Mumbai during the pandemic. She was in so for a shock when she returned to Bengaluru. One struggle that I've seen from pre-pandemic to post is uh, the rentals that they've been charging, the deposits and also finding a decent locality and a decent house. Um, in 2018, I used to live in a 4 BHK penthouse. I paid around 10,000 rupees as my as a rental for a similar room, for a similar society with the same amenities. I am paying two x the charges. Pre-pandemic deposits were around one lakh to two lakh rupees. Today, it's anywhere between six lakh to seven lakh rupees. Just not the tenants, but owners as well. I mean, it's at the end you're looking at a level of comfort. I mean, it's just a relationship between the owner and the tenant. So, I mean, the moment you're able to crack that, that's where you transact. And today's uh, market is such that you cannot be picky. This 17-kilometer stretch of outer ring road alone houses many international companies, from Google to Amazon. Media reports say there are around 350 companies employing 1 million workers here. And the rising demand is met with shortage of supply. Property consultancy firm Anarok points to 3% addition in residential flats in the first quarter of this year in Bengaluru as compared to 55% in Mumbai. The construction slowed down quite a bit during the COVID, right? So a lot of apartments that were scheduled to be handed over haven't been. So there is a shortage of demand and because there's an influx of people who are coming into Bangalore, um, invariably, the supply seems to be much lesser. It is three months now with 60 houses scoured and Ankita is still looking for that sweet home where her heart as well as her purse is. Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.